Each year, the Marine Mammal Centre rescues between 600 and 800 seals, sea lions and other marine mammals along 600 miles of California coastline. Each patient tells a unique story of the amazing abilities of marine mammals, the health of the ocean and the impact that people can have on the ocean environment. With the help of over 1,000 committed and passionate volunteers, ranging from 15 to 96 years of age, the Marine Mammal Centre is able to rescue, rehabilitate and release these sick patients back to their ocean home with a second chance at life. Volunteers like Catherine Arnold, who has been helping weekly for the past 10 years, perform and assist in all aspects of the work occurring at the hospital ranging from rescues, feedings, cleanings, exams, surgeries and the release of the patients. Each animal requires almost around-the-clock care to ensure they receive the food and medicine needed to make a full recovery. The beginning of every patient's story starts with a phone call from a concerned member of the public when they find a sick or injured marine mammal along the beach. Our rescue teams are dispatched to the beach to assess the animal and determine if it needs care. This two-month-old elephant seal pup named Peso rests on the beach suffering from malnutrition. If left to fend for herself, she will most likely not survive. Knowing this, Peso is covered by a towel to protect her and then placed into a carrier for transport. An animal is brought into any of our three triage centres, St. Louis Obispo, Monterey Bay or Anchor Bay, for immediate care and then transferred to our main hospital in Sausalito. Our veterinarians and volunteers will examine each animal to determine what the best treatment will be, including options of surgery, medication and a plan for feeding. As mammals, they suffer from many of the same problems that people suffer from around the world, including diseases like pneumonia, domoic acid toxicity and even cancer. Young pups can also be separated from their mothers due to big storms or human interaction. Or animals can be affected by ocean trash where seals and sea lions might become entangled in or ingest plastic out in the ocean. For many of these animals, malnutrition is a major concern. For the young pups like Busco, he is not even able to eat fish on his own and volunteers have to tube feed him until he is old enough and strong enough to eat fish. The work is strenuous and time consuming, but each day the animals grow stronger and healthier. Some animals need extra attention, whether it be with certain medications or surgery. The more we can have the animals behave like they would in the wild, the better they will adjust after their release. It's hard work for our 1,000 volunteers, who in one year might total over 110,000 hours. But each time we are able to see an animal recover from his injuries, all of the hard work is worth it. Regardless of the species or the injury, our goal always remains the same. Once the animal is cleared with a clean bill of health, the animal is released back into the ocean with a second chance at life. For each animal we rescue, we not only save one life, but are able to learn so much more about the health of the ocean and the animals. It just goes to show the ability that each person possesses to make a powerful, positive impact on our environment and the animals that depend upon it. <laughs>